In this paper, we present a method for the classification of motion capture data that is style invariant and which can be used for the control of non-bipedal characters. Previous works in character control through action classification tended to focus on data coming from consumer equipment such as the Kinect and Leap Motion. Due to limitations in such equipment, people act in a manner that differs from their behavior in daily life. In our work, we focus on data coming from professional motion capture equipment, where the actor moves freely around the environment and may perform actions in a highly stylized manner. Using skeletal motion data as input, we use a deep neural network to determine the locomotive action type. In a second network, we analyze the motion and its inferred type to determine its progress. Progress is a scalar value that describes the temporal state of an action. Finally, we post-process these network's outputs to enhance time coherence. In the first network, we use a large label dataset to correlate the shape of the actor's legs and his implicit dynamics to specific locomotive action labels. The inputs for the second network are the combined inputs and outputs of the first network. In the second layer of this network, we destylize the input motion. For that, we correlate a standard clip of each locomotive action to time-wrap stylized clips of the same actions. Here you can see the result of this layer alone. In the final layers, we correlate the standard motions to the actual progress notation. We show the performance of our method in a character control application where the locomotive classification is used to control a quadruped model. The network was trained to classify seven different behaviors. Stand idle, walk forward, walk backwards, stepping right and left, running and jumping. As locomotive phases are correlated to the actor's shape and dynamics, transition points tend to be similar. This allows for the concatenation of different motion types. The classification algorithm can deal with a wide spectrum of stylized inputs. The main advantage of our method is its invariance to stylized movement. Another advantage is the lack of a setup phase, which is a byproduct of the large dataset that was used to train the model. All previous approaches rely on the user creating the sample movements that would then be classified which in turn restricts the way the user can act. Finally, we have compared the precision of our method against SVM for action classification and nearest neighbor lookups for progress regression. Our method is at least equivalent in style neutral motions and significantly superior when the movement includes changes in directions and stylized performances.